Let's fly. Well, what can I say? It's really popular up in Scotland, but this is uh, my version of it. It's a uh, hair hackle dolly McCoist. Um, it's been there for a long, 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 long time. Obviously invented by a Rangers fan. Um, if you know who Ali McCoist is. Anyway, go ahead and tie them, shall we? I've got a big hooking device, 230B out, it's a size 8, and I've got a 3.5mm bead. Thread doesn't really matter. However, in this case, this is camel. Camel? Yes, camel. So we get a bed of thread in there. Um, what have I now got? I'm always missing some bits and pieces. Here you go. Black marabou. Black. Black velvet, if you will. What a generous pinch of this. I'll just twist it in my fingers. Bind the fibres together and I'll cut an edge to work with. So I get that right up at the bead and then tie them in. One thing a lot of people do with lures is they have a really, really long tail. I'm the opposite, mine's is quite short. I've got a specific area on my vise that my tails go to. So it's probably only twice length the hook shank if that. So that's your, your tail in place. I've then got this lime green crystal flash and I just double two lengths over and I get two lengths on either side so same length as the tail <clears throat> and you walk to the side not above so there's one side got taters around that side how's that looking a little bit low to be honest that's him there so let's trim that off I've then got now the original Ollie McCoist is a just an Ollie Fritz if you like however I've got a Fritz that I prefer it's a little bit better. So the Fritz that I like, where is the Fritz that I like? Here he is. It's like a long straggle, but it's got UV in it. So it's got pearl and UV. And what I do with this is, I rub this up in open turns. So if I come a little bit behind the bead, I don't want to be too close to the bead because I've got some work to be doing there. So coming up. And then, in open turns, stroke the fibres back like it was a hackle. There's one, I think it's four or five in here. Two, three, four, it is five. And on the fifth turn, I'm just going to get some of the fibres out of the way. And then, pinch and loop, secure it. There you go. Give me your scissors. I actually prefer a blade for this, but my scissors are handy. And then using your thread wraps, bunch that back. And then just give the thing over your remote. Like so. So what makes this a little bit special is the is the hackling. So I've got here some olive olive rabbit, quite long in the fibre. And um these are Vossler grips, probably the best grippy things I've ever had for CDC or anything like that. And I'm just going to cut about a 
put an inch of there. So what I'll do is I'll come in with my grips, find what I want lengthwise, like so. And I'm just gonna come in underneath and snip that. So I'll try to do this out the way of the camera. Snip it off the skin. And then So there's there's what I've got, but obviously I'm gonna spread it. You're better doing this in the flat of your table. That's what I'm doing just now, I'm just spreading this. To get the hackle that I want. I didn't want it too thick at the same time, I didn't want it thin. Because once you've caught a few fish, this is gonna disappear, so I'm gonna create a dubbing loop a loop tool. Let's just create a loop here. Like so. In with my dubbing loop tool. And then I'm gonna insert these fibers into my dubbing loop. Like you can see, shift some about. So there's my root. This is gonna create my hackle. Spin that. This has just got so much more movement. Oh, I get my my thread at the back there. Just park that there so it's out of the way, and then come round to my hair hackle. Quite a few turns till I'm happy, and then secure with your thread. Now this looks messy just now, but let's not worry about that. I'm going to tidy all this up. So you can see how much hackle I've got in there. I'm then going to come with my, wet my, my, my thumb and forefinger and pull all this to the front, front of the bead, and then in behind the hackle, a large whip finishing tool, we whip finish. So I do one, and then I get a little bit of super glue, Get that on the the fibre, sorry on the fibre, on the on the thread, and then I do another one. And that just locks everything tight and in place. So now what we gotta do is trim your tiny thread, that's that finish with. Stroke this back. Like 